Molly, by the time you were in grade 12, what would you say was your greatest accomplishment? Probably all the work I did on behalf of the Foundation Fighting Blindness as a youth ambassador. Oh, no, I have a better one. Becoming a mom to my first guide dog. Very nice. Well, not that those aren't great accomplishments, but get this. Anmol Tukrell, a 17-year-old in his final year of high school, has created an iPhone app called Identify. Oh, I know all about Anmol. His app allows you to take photos of virtually anything, and then the app describes those photos to you in detail. Aside from being able to recognize different colors, brands, and even facial expressions, people can all also take pictures of text and have it read back to them in one of several different languages. Anmol was inspired to start this app when... Why am I telling you? I'll just let him explain it. Check it out. That is red apple fruit. My name is Amon Tukrell and I'm the creator of the Identify app. Basically, it's an iPhone app that allows people with visual impairments to, to click a photo of virtually any object or any piece of text uh, and get a response back um, saying what the object is or uh, re it can read the text and it can do so in 27 languages. While most teenagers are more concerned with their social calendars than helping others, Anmol stands in stark contrast. The 17-year-old Markham native has spent a great deal of his free time over the past year creating Identify, and his father Chitan couldn't be more proud. I'm so happy that it's going to help a whole lot of people, and we're looking forward to seeing how it impacts everybody. I'm very glad he did what he did. Anmol was inspired to create the app because of two life-changing experiences he had in India. I would always visit my aunt who uh, works at a hospital for people who are visually impaired. So what they do is they go to the local towns and villages and offer eye care for free for people who can't afford it. Um, and the second reason is that last summer I was doing an internship at a company called Ice Cream Labs, which basically uses uh, computer vision, which is the same technology Identify uses um, for advertising, but I thought you know, why not apply it to more humanitarian purpose? So that's just what he did. And Jason Fair, the national lead for accessibility and assistive technology for the CNIB, is quite grateful he did. I've been extremely impressed with it. Um, there's, there are several apps that do similar things, um, and I've found that this app, um, the accuracy is higher than most, and the fact that it does the character recognition, um, again, there are other apps that do it, but this sort of bundles everything into one package, so to speak. As Jason mentioned, there are other apps on the market that do similar things to identify, but he stressed that it's this app's ability to provide an abundance of information that sets it apart. I would just say the, the accuracy of the results that I'm getting back, so when I take a picture of an object, I'm getting more information about that object than I would get uh, from the other apps I've tried. So. It'll say, you know, there's an object sitting on a, a brown surface or a, or a dark surface or a, things like that. Or I'm getting color information that other apps of its kind don't typically give me. That is blue polo shirt. That's awesome. After hearing how great Identify is, I wanted to see it in action. So we set up a little test. Now Jason is gonna show me just exactly how the Identify app works, so take it away, Jason. All right, so what we've got here is um, pop cans, and pop cans are particularly challenging because as a blind person, they all feel the same. There's, there's no way to tell um, a Coke can from a Coke Zero can or anything else. So today I wanna to try to find a Coke Zero uh, because I'd like something without sugar in it. So I'm gonna grab a can and see what we end up with. Flash. Automatic. Switch with image. Re re use photo. Lotus. That is Coca Cola Christmas theme tin can. It got the holiday theme in there too. That's perfect. <laughs> That's so awesome. now let's see if it can distinguish between the two cans. All right. So we're going to grab this other can. Flash. Automatic. That is Coca Cola Zero can. That's great, so now you know you can get the right Coke product that you want. Absolutely. I was very impressed, but Anmol isn't going to rest on his laurels. He told me that he's working on making the future version of the app even better. Next, what I'd really like to do is add more languages. So right now, the app is capable of recognizing 96 languages, 
but the only thing is that um, right now on the iPhone, I haven't put in the computerized voices for those languages. So once I set that up, it should work in 96 languages. Another thing I'm hoping to develop, uh, maybe as like a different app, is one where users could just take a panorama of their surroundings and have that described to them. So for example, if they're downtown where the GPS on your phone might not work as well, they could just take a panorama and have um, like the intersection or their surroundings described to them. Accessible Media Incorporated. Oh, that worked well. Amazing work, Anmol. This app definitely has the potential to help a lot of people around the world. And if you at home would like to learn more, you can visit the website identify.com. That's identify ending in an I. The app is currently being used in 86 different countries and has identified over 200,000 different objects. Another interesting fact is that Anmol was placing pins on a map at his parents' house in Markham to signify all the different countries that his app is being used in. But he had to stop because he got too busy and couldn't keep up. He's probably the busiest 17-year-old I know. Something fun that I learned is that the app released on the App Store on July 21st, which coincided with Enmo's birthday. So congratulations to you and best of luck with your future. For more information and to download the app, just visit the App Store on your iPhone and search for Identify. Again, that's Identify with an I, not a Y.